Hello people, today I'm going to be doing a trailer reaction to Jordan Peele's Nope. I am so excited for this movie because I've really liked both of um, Jordan, Peele's, Jordan Peele's horror films. I love Get Out, it's one of my all-time favorite horror films. And while I really like Us, it leaned a little too heavy into um, comedy for me to really find the movie incredibly scary. Um, I thought Us had a lot of great symbolism and it had a creepy ideas, but when it comes to scares, I was just so much more on the edge of my seat with Get Out. And Get Out did have its comedic moments, but it was more so human comedic moments while Us had movie comedic moments, like with kids joking about dead bodies and how they've never seen Home Alone. Stuff like that kind of bothered me in it. But I'm really excited for this. I hope they lean a little bit more. You can still have your comedy be, and I'm sure it's funny at least. But let's see if we can get some effective thrills. So yeah. Anyway, starting the trailer in three, two, one. atmospheric hmm paranormal or Steven Yoon. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited um, that I'm confused. I don't want to see any more footage. I hope this is the only trailer. I think only uh, I think us only had one trailer. Um, my God, this is everything that I wanted. If I heard it, um, he was gonna be Jordan Peele was gonna be doing a. I'm assuming aliens at this point. Um, my God, it, it's eerie. You get that on edge feel. Um, it looks like we will be getting some social commentary once again. Um, and it's just truly shown in, like, symbolism with, like, like aliens and abductions and stuff like that. Um, but, wow, I am very excited. Um, it had me on edge. I, like, I was not expecting to get scared this trailer. I was expecting to get, like, maybe... I'm like, ooh, that's creepy. But there's some things I was like, oh, crap. And that had me a little on edge. Like, the cinematography with, um... Like, really had some good scares. But this one shot with Coolia riding a horse. And you see the shadow going for, going for it. Like, who did the cinematography for, cinematography for this? I go on Letterboxd now. Like, because this cinematography just seemed a little bit better than what I'm used to. Okay, now I'm really excited. Hoiti, I, I read this name a million times, and I know he's my favorite cinematographer, so don't get me wrong when I say this, and don't think I'm not a true fan, but Hoiti Van Hoitemaita, or whatever, how you're supposed to say it, the d d cinematographer of Interstellar, Dunkirk, Tenet, Ad Astra, Spectre. I haven't seen her, so I, I'm assuming that's really good as well. Everything I've seen is just some of the best cinematography ever. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so ready for this movie. 
I'm definitely putting this up. Like, I don't, I'm not, this is not my number one anticipated movie of the year. That's still the Batman, but this is maybe number two now. Oh my god, we got, what a team, what a team putting this movie together. Jordan Peele and, um, Hoy Tamata, Hoy Tama, Hoy Tama, Tamata, I'm an idiot. Um, Hoy Tama and Jordan Peele doing a movie together? Who's doing a score for this? Are we getting back to the original score of, um, Us? Because the score for Us was just out of this world. I have to look it up. Yep. Same, um, same guy that did us. So, this is quite the team, and it looks like we're going a little away from comedy. This movie will be so good. I hope this is in the top ten of the year. I hope this lives up to every expectation I have for this. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm adding this to my watch list on Letterboxd. So, yeah. Anyways, so excited. Like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.